So in this video, I just want to go over how you can figure out which is the inner and the outer function in a bunch of different examples for, for use in chain rule. Because I think the, the hardest thing to do is actually grab the inner and the outer function from previous experience. So let's take a look at this. Say cosine of 2x, okay? So the outer function in this case would be cosine of x, and the inner would be 2x. Great. How about an exponential? e to the cosine of, oops, cosine of x, okay? So in this case, cosine is normally an outer function, but in this case, I, it's actually an inner function because cosine of x is inside e to the x. We can also do the other way, we could do sine of e to the x. So in this case, sine is the outer function of x, and e to the x is actually the inner function. We can also do other things like cosine of x to the fifth plus cosine of x to the second. In this case, the outer function is actually x to the fifth plus x squared. So we have a term here and a term here, both of which have cosine inside. So that would be cosine of x would be the inside. You could also do this doing addition rule and just treat them separately as cosine of x to the fifth. And then your outer function will be x to the fifth and your inner function will be cosine of x. Okay. And also do a natural log of, let's say, x squared minus 2x plus 1. And your outer function would be natural log of x. And your inner function would be x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay? We can keep going. You can do log base 10 of cosine of x. Your outer function will be log 10 of x, and your inner function will be cosine of x. Okay. 